everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome y'all and to my tribe and family at large fam y'all know what time it is welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and of course watching another video y'all know i love to always mention our thursday night live streams y'all know this is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness you don't want to miss that thursday night live stream i would love to see you there listen jump in the chat grab a snack come on back and invite some folks to come back with you okay y'all and every time we drop a video on the channel y'all know the goal of the day is 2.1k plus 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 on the likes and y'all know the live stream starts at 5 p.m pacific standard time 5 p.m pacific standard time but if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Y'all hitting the like button for me. Can y'all do that for your girl, please, please, please? And thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to talk about when the narcissist realizes they want to come back, okay? Now, this is a good one, y'all. This is a good one. Now, this is not necessarily the fact that they are going to come back at that particular time. But when they realize they want to come back, y'all, this is a battle between them and the new supply. It's bad. It's really bad. So, um, yeah. So when the narcissist realizes that they want to come back, y'all, it is a, this is a, this is a, as they would say, a humdinger for the, the new supply and the whole dynamic that's over there with the new supply. Okay. So what ends up happening is after, of course, after the discard and everything uh, goes down and, you know, the devalue discard, you know, you've g gone through that whole situation with the narcissist, right? Now, after that happens and the narcissist gets over there to the new supply. Now, initially, you guys will see them, you know, uh, posting up, doing all of the stuff that they do on social media, right? So they got their whole little situation going. Everything is good, right? So you're thinking, okay, so I guess they just doing their thug thizzle. You know, they got it going on with the new supply. Everything is everything. Now, what you don't see behind the scenes is that with the new supply, there are uh, there are some little things that the narcissist is also doing with the new supply, trying to vet them, uh, because if you force them to go over to the new supply, meaning that you started to ask too many questions or uh, you started to be really forceful or telling the narcissist no, and you were basically, you know, throwing blows to the ego and you made them go to the new supply, they probably weren't ready to go yet. So... They're going to try to do a back and forth with you until they can really properly vet the new supply. But here's the thing. There's a thing that happens once they've gotten with the new supply, probably about maybe I would say around six to eight weeks after they get with the new supply, they start to go through this thing where they they begin to desire the old supply. OK, and. At that point, it's like you're at the top of the most wanted list, which I told you all about before. But at that point, it's not where they, they're they actually going to or get ready to come back. It's just the thought in their mind. Then there's a process that they go through with the new supply trying to, of course, see what their empathy threshold is going to be, how much pain they're able to take. All of this is done. Uh, right after the love bomb stage, because, you know, the love bomb stage typically doesn't last, but maybe, maybe, maybe three to four, sometimes six months, you can get six months out of the love bomb. But baby, when these birds feel like they want to come back, okay, when they realize they want to come back, what happens is it shifts and changes with the new supply. And the way that you know that it's shifted and changed, 
Sometimes you'll see the new supply posting up posts or memes about, you know, being heartbroken or, you know, love is not, uh, you know, different posts about what love is, what it isn't, you know, different things like that. Just kind of like subliminals. You know what I'm saying? They'll start posting up things like that. Or you'll see them not posting. The narcissist won't post the new supply. They'll post themselves, you know, post by themselves. And the new supply may be posting by themselves. That kind of lets you know that something is going on right there. So at that point, they're still fantasizing or they're tinkering with the idea of coming back to you, right? So they're reminiscing about the, the times and the things that you have done for them, especially if, if you kind of forced them to leave and they didn't really have a choice. They had to go because, you know, you were just throwing blows to the ego and you wouldn't let them, you, you just basically wasn't letting them get down like they used to. At that point, they're going to have to go. But when they realize that they want to come back, that's a problem. Because when they realize that they want to come back, what it does is it automatically throws that new supply into the devalue. Now, here's the interesting twist is that when that new supply, and this is what's funny, it's not funny, but it is. When that new supply is a, a narcissist as well, y'all going to see some, it, listen, y'all know how it used to be in them superhero movies or the superhero cartoons and you just see a big cloud of poof 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 you know pumping uh, uh uh like that that like they they fighting in a cloud that's how it is with the, with the narcissist if that other supply is a narcissist but when they go from just fantasizing about the idea of coming back to you over into the thing uh, over into the place of actualizing it right this is where it gets bad because at that point, they no longer want to engage with the new supply the way they used to. At that point, they're bringing you up constantly to the new supply, you know, talking about, well, you know, some stuff is good, some stuff is bad. But the main thing that they want to do is make sure that they triangulate you or triangulate the new supply with you. OK, and so these are just things that they do. And if you've had people on the other side or, you know, in their camp, the people in the camp probably told you, yeah, they, they going through it. They going through it because when they realize that they want you back, what happens with a narcissist is their their attention completely shifts and switches. Like it's almost like the, the new supply no longer exists. That's that's literally what happens. It's almost like their sights are fixed on you and you only. So this is why a lot of times when they're still with the new supply, you still get those obsessive compulsive behaviors from the narcissist because once they realize and it's in their mind and they have they've moved from the ideal idea idealation. Ah, let me get it right. Idealation. Uh, Y'all, I'll say it later because I can't idealizing. OK, once they move from the idealizing, that's it. Idealizing the relationship over to actualizing. OK, now once they and this is what I'm talking about, once they move into that actualizing, that means that they are ready to come back. They don't care anything about the new supply, don't care what was happening over there. They're in a straight devaluation stage. OK, so. At that point, you're probably going to get the new supply stalking your social media. Um, the new supply really doesn't know what has happened. You understand what I'm saying? They, they are sitting there in a state of confusion. They don't know what has happened because they thought that this was the person of their dreams. You know, the, the narcissist has lied to them, loved bomb them, did all of that. Um, I mean, they, this is what they've done. And so now, and future fake too. So now the new supply is sitting there like, wait, what? And especially if that new supply, they were cheating with the narcissist on you, baby, they really don't know what's going on. So they will also try to reel the narcissist back in like what's going on you know why can't we talk about this and the more they try to reel the narcissist back in the worse it gets okay for them and the narcissist because once the narcissist goes from idealizing having you back to actualizing it and when they go to actualizing it what they what that means is that they see you back in their lives they see your relationship with them back the way that it was like they never left you because 
at a certain point, once they realize that they have gotten the new supply where they want them, they don't want them anymore. And if you were grade A supply, this is what they want to do. They they really like to build relationships where they can monkey branch and bounce back and forth between supplies. That's what they really love. That is what a narcissist truly wants to do. So this is what this is what happens. So in this whole uh, scheme of things, you got to keep a level head. And know that when that narcissist moves on to the new supply, they are going to have a moment. They're going to have a, you know, they're going to have one of those truthful moments where they know that they have messed up. They're going to have that moment, but you got to let them have that and never come back to you. Because when they come back, I've said it a million times before, probably, they only come back to do you worse than they did in the beginning. It's never better. It's never that they've realized what they've done. No, it's never that. It's just the fact that they know that they can, if they can bounce back and forth, then that's a great situation. But when they realize that they're ready to come back, it's a bad situation for them in the new supply because that new supply is basically, if they cheated on the, nar cheated on, cheated with the narcissist on you, this is where they get their payback. It is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. You, you, you're not going to do somebody dirty and do all of the stuff that you do and you don't think you're going to get paid for back, paid back for that. Oh, you're going to get paid back. Oh, yeah. The law of reciprocity is the law of the universe. It's coming back to you. And so a lot of times this is that back burner supply that's, you know, accepting that narcissist is back and they've been going back and forth for years. Baby, when you see that, you pack up camp and go and don't look back because I'm going to tell you something. It's never going to be different. Even when they realize that they want to come back and they begin to actualize that in their mind, the thing that you got to understand is that, yes, they feel like they want to do that because they get very bored with supply really quickly. They're going to get bored with you again. And then they're going to monkey branch to somebody else. Don't be the victim of a revolving door. Don't. Don't. Because they're going to they're gonna try it over and over again. Because this is who they are. Okay? They're mentally ill. All right, family? So listen, y'all. This is what happens when they realize that they want you back. That's a battle between the narcissist and the new supply. And the new supply going to get it. Just like we did. All right? All right, family. I love you all. Take really good care of yourselves. All right. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.